anybody, Matthew, that stands out to you that maybe it's not talked about that could open up some eyes down in the system this year? People seem to like Peyton Graham for some reason. I, I just I just haven't seen enough of him because like he had one year of college production at Oklahoma and he was really good, put up a lot of high exit velos. Um, yeah, I guess for him in particular, I just need to see more. I'm I'm really curious about uh, Roberto Campos myself. If he can just lift the ball just a little bit more, and he could be, I think he could be something real special. Starts the season there. I think when seal Perez is fully totally possible. It depends on the health of his back because one of the things that when we're talking to uh, Greg Gangy of the Seawolves, the broadcaster, he was telling us his back injury was pretty serious, and that's why he pretty much missed the rest of the season. They wanted the rest of his back. And Perez at West Michigan was raking the ball. He hit the ball everywhere. He was hitting the ball, made hard contact, and it continued in Erie. I mean, he, to me, what I like about him at Comerica Park that would favor him is that he's a guy who can hit the gaps pretty well. And if that can play up well, the, in terms of even defensively is where – I mean, on the left side of the infield last year, was, it was horrendous. I mean, there was some of the playing shortstop in third. They're going to probably put him at second, but he's a guy, too, I think could get some time in the outfield. Um, so I think he, in terms of, like, his arm range-wise, I, I, Chris, I can't remember. I don't really think he had – his range wasn't bad. It's just he, he had a bad glove out there. But um, – Yeah, to, to me, Colt – or, uh, yeah, what surprised – he got better. He was, I think he made like four or five errors in his first week with Erie at second yeah. base. And they were like, he was at the second base hole and throwing the ball like 10 feet wide at first base. Like, uh, what's going on? But he got better. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's some, there was some concern with the throwing accuracy. And also his, his hands just weren't like super soft. You know, balls would bounce off his hands and stuff like that. I think there's a chance he could stick at second base. I would like to see him in the outfield. Maybe see if he's fast enough to handle some center field. If he has, uh, you know, if he has the, the range and, you know, maybe down the road, he's, he's kind of a Willie Castro plus walks, which would be a, a, a useful player, I think. Mm-hmm.